Hey Tigers and welcome back to News Minute on this Tuesday afternoon. I'm Michaela Morgan with Tiger TV. And we are so glad to see everyone back here on campus today after classes were canceled due to the severe weather system that passed through Baton Rouge yesterday morning, leaving debris on many roads, uprooting trees, and causing over 30,000 power outages here in South Louisiana, even causing damage to foul poles in Alex Box Stadium. But don't worry, Tigers, the damage was temporarily repaired for today's game against Alcorn State at 6.30 p.m. And as we dealt with tornadoes storming through the south yesterday, violence continued to erupt in the city of Baltimore, Maryland, as protesters threw objects at officers, damaged police cruisers, and fires broke out across the city over the death of Freddie Gray, a 25-year-old who died after being in police custody. A state of emergency has been issued and National Guard troops were deployed this morning as numerous fires were reported overnight and the mayor issued a citywide curfew beginning today at 10 p.m. until 5 a.m. Wednesday. The Baltimore police were asking parents to please bring their children home yesterday due to the violence. And a video of one mom who got physical confronting her son has gone viral overnight. The mom was heard saying, are you kidding me, as she grabbed her son who was seen throwing rocks at police and hanging out with violent demonstrators on Monday. And that looks like that's all the time that I have for today, but have a great rest of your afternoon, Tigers, and make sure to join us later on Newsbeat for all of the latest LSU news.